guided practice two, use the graph y equals f of x below. Sketch the graphs of the first derivative and the second derivative. For the first derivative, we need to draw a sign diagram first. This is a maximum. That means uh, it will be the zero. Minimum here is a zero. We don't have a stationary inflection. So we can get uh, going up is a positive, going down is negative. This is a positive. You will connect uh, these two first because uh, below, then going up. Here it's going up. But check the inflection point. You see, I have inflection point over here. This will be the your maximum or minimum point on the f prime of x. Here you do have a inflection point. Therefore. I will connect like this. This will be the maximum point, then it's going down. Now I will draw this graph on the original graph. So this part, it will be maximum or minimum. Inflection on the original function will be the maximum or minimum point on the first derivative graph. Therefore, I can draw like this. This part, I need a, like a maximum. This will be the f prime of x. Now let's draw the second derivative function. So for the inflection point, that will be the x intercept for the second derivative. So we draw the sign diagram going up. This is a positive. Going down, that is a concave down. So here is a negative. Concave up, here is a positive. So you just need to connect these two. Then going up, going up. That's it. This will be the second derivative of function. Now let's go to B. First of all, get the maximum minimum. This will be the x intercept for the first derivative. This is a stationary inflection point. So still, I will draw this. Then you will figure out the sign diagram for that. Going up, positive, negative, negative. Here is a positive. Then get the inflection point. That will be your maximum or minimum of a first derivative. Suppose over here. Here is a one. Okay, you can sketch the graph now. If it's a negative. So you will draw like this. You need to make sure the minimum points is uh, on this uh, inflection here. So let's draw that nicely like this.
going up positive then here is going up that's it so how you draw the second derivative function if you find the this inflection point then draw the sun diagram going up this is a positive here is a negative this will be positive so you need to just connect this going up that's it so this one is a second derivative function if you are given the sun diagram for example i have a this is a positive or negative positive or the negative or here's negative you have to know how to draw the graph say for positive you just connect these two negative go down positive go up negative go this way and then here's the going down that's how you draw the graph if you are know the sun diagram let's go to guided practice three use the graph of a first derivative below sketch a possible graph of a y equals f of x show clear the location of any stationary points and points of inflection remember this is uh, the first uh, derivative uh, graph therefore the x-intercept will be the minimum points or maximum points or stationary inflection then we figure out the sign this is a below x-axis negative above positive here is a positive this point it's a stationary inflection point because no sign change at this point and then the first derivative equal to zero and this point here the maximum point will be the inflection point non-stationary inflection point now we can sketch the graph like this going up going down is easy so we draw the graph like this here then you will get uh, inflection point over here that this one still is a stationary inflection therefore that will be the graph look like we know this is a inflection point and this is a inflection point now let's go to b for the b part this one this is a x intercept which means uh, the maximum point or minimum point then draw the sun diagram above x axis is positive negative here's a positive then find the minimum or maximum point it will be point of uh, inflection So we can sketch the graph like this this is going up and then you going down this will be the inflection point here then go this way this is a minimum point 